What's up, YouTube? Manny and YC. Oh, the can open. Even though I didn't say open can. My garbage can. Um, Alright, this is uh for E-Rod 212's uh, if it's slab worthy contest. Um, I know I don't do too many contests, but I figured let me do his. Um, procrastinating on videos, but you guys see me on the show and this and that. I don't know. I got time today because I didn't Today I didn't have to go to work, so um, let's get it started. I think it's like five books he said, but I got a little, I got a little more than five, so I figured five, you know, more than five should be fine. Um, so is it slab worthy? Five books that you want to slab, I guess. Um, so I got more than five. I'll show you which ones. Um, and then I'll give you a reason why. So, we got Stars and Stripes, number zero. So, the reason why you slab this one, the reason why I would slab it, I don't know about anybody else, but me, personally, I'll slab it just because it's uh, first appearance of Stargirl, and it's the first Jeff Johns work. On DC so it is at all published or his first work ever I, I believe so stars and stripes number zero you could you could probably find this cheap maybe ten bucks um of course this one's probably like a nine eight um so that would be why you would slap that and there's rumors that she's gonna be in um what is she gonna be in shit I forget but it's something she's going to be in. And another one, another DC Showcase. 55. Reason that slab, reason to slab this one is the first Silver Age Solomon Grundy. And also this book is tough to find in high grade. Like if you do find it, it'll probably be like 8.0, probably be like 600 bucks. So this one's not an 8.0, it's probably like more like a 5 mid grade and that's an awesome cover too so that's one um secret wars number eight of course everybody knows why would you slap this um this is my second copy of this um this was pgx i fucking i cracked that bitch open i got this from francis he did the auction on the NY Warriors auction. I got it off of him. So yeah, this one says it was a 9.6 PGX. Hopefully it'll come back a 9.8. I've been very, very, very lucky with the PGX that I crack open and send them in. Like I had one book that said it was like a it's like a 9.0 and it came back a 9.4. So that's that's pretty good. That was see I slabbed it and I got it signed and everything. So this is another one. Um I have a 9.8 already. I'm thinking maybe I'm trying to like if I could get two copies of each book that I own, I will slap the other one, but don't get it signed. Like, you know, but yeah, this is the first, you know, symbiote uh, black Spider-Man costume. One of the first ones. So I think there's like three other ones. So there you go. Secret Wars number eight. That's an awesome cover. You can find this pretty cheap too. Raw. Probably get probably find it for 40 bucks. Um, so this is another one. I mean, you know, if you see a high grade, I actually I saw one yesterday for like 40 bucks and it looked just like this one. I was ready to pick it up, but I was like, nah, I already got another copy. So there you go. That's a nice one to have. Um, also, this has this is personal to me, so there's no significance only significance is 9-11 black cover um that that's about it man if you get this book a lot of people have like the towers on there spider-man going around me i won't even do that i won't even get this book signed i'll just leave it just the way it is and just slab it um it's just a personal thing for me you know because 9-11 from new york and everything and I was actually in the middle of uh, the 
towers helping out when it happened. So, um, so yeah, this is one of those books, you know. It's a beautiful black cover. You know, it's hard to find in like high grade. Um, so this book is probably a nine six, but you know, it is what it is. I like the book. Oh, you could just leave it in the mylar too, but. You should get this book slab if you have it, and especially if it's in high grade. Um, another book is Amazing Spider-Man 151. Oh, actually, this is uh, Amazing Spider-Man 36. You can see that. That's This is the second series of Spider-Man, the John Romita run. John Romita Jr., when he did it the second time around. So this is Amazing Spider-Man 151. This is another book. Oh, man, this is just a beautiful, iconic, freaking... Um, John Romita Sr., I believe. I think this is John Romita Sr. It looks like John Romita Sr. I think it is, though. Uh, no, actually, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. John Romita. Yeah, it is. It is. It's right. He's right there. Yep. I knew it. There you go. It's an awesome book to get slabbed. Just a cover, man, you know? And if you get an opportunity to get a, get John Romita's signature on it, why not? He doesn't make appearances in cons, so only private signing, so you have to go through like a third party facilitator to get that done. I got two Romita signatures also, so this is one of those books that it's just iconic, beautiful. And he knows where to place the autographs at too. So there you go, Amazing Spider-Man 251. Another one, if you're a Wonder Woman guy like me, I love Wonder Woman. Um, Wonder Woman 159. The reason why, this is just the origin. And this book, even raw copies like like this. This one's probably like, um, uh, it's probably like a four, five maybe, four or five. Um, it's just the origin and um, it's just a nice purple you got nice purple here Wonder Woman somebody's closing her mouth so uh, yeah it's Wonder Woman 159 and this book is ex it's pretty pricey when you go online even like the beat up copies many like 50 50 to 60 70 bucks like they're, they're, they're pretty pricey but you know if you want high grade like me like I would look for this try to look for it in a higher grade but am i willing to pay the prices that they want not really but yeah this is one another book you'll want to get slabbed um here goes another wonder woman this is 160. this is the first appearance of cheetah silver age appearance of cheetah so that's another one 160. this is book it's probably like a 4.5 um, another purple cover, also purple. Um, there was like a circle here, but I got this for cheap. This is another book. There's one of those books that are expensive, raw, great, and raw, like raw copies. It's first silver, um, uh, Marky 316, this bastard has a 8.0 in this and he pays super cheap. So she's supposed to be in the next movie, the next Wonder Woman movie. But it's not this cheetah. I think it's the George Perez run cheetah. So I think it's a different lady. So there you go. That Wonder Woman. Love that cover. I'll be looking for these books in high grade. But prices, I don't want to pay what they were asking for them. Um, here's another book. Beautiful freaking Mr. Miracle number four. First Big Barter. Um, Jack Kirby work. Everybody knows that. It's just I love Mr. Miracle. I like this character. Um, pretty good. This is her first appearance of Big Barter. That's his wife, Scott Free. That's his name. <laughs> it's funny. So there you go. This book is high grade too. It's probably like an eight point oh eight five. So nice, beautiful cover. Um, 
Here goes another book. Um, there's nothing in this book. Just the fact that it's like a variant. And it's also hard. No, no. It's not an incentive. I don't think it's an incentive variant, but um, it's just He Man and the Attorney Awards. It's number 10, and it's a Skeletor cover. Awesome Skeletor cover. Look at that. He has the freaking. He has the sword holding it down. That's a, that's sick. That cover's sick. This is personally, I would get this slab just because, but that's just me. But this is one of my books right here, and Erod to one to press this book already. So this book will be getting signed by the um, voice of Skeletor at um. Garden State Comic Fest, he's going to be there. So I'm gonna probably get that signed by him. So I have some, I have some Popeye books here. So these are Golden Age Popeye books. And these books are like, it's like super hard to find these in high grade. So I have a Popeye, I can't tell you the numbers because the numbers are inside, I don't feel like opening this up. So look at that Popeye book, it's awesome Popeye book. Um, it's probably, it's probably like a 7.5, this one. Maybe, no, 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 it's not. I'm looking at it again. Not this one. But it, it is high grade. Not super high, but it is nice copy. It's a beautiful pop. I love Popeye. Um, this one's definitely probably in the 7 old range. Another Popeye book. No, not, no, damn. It needs a pressing. All these books need pressing, but yeah. All these Popeye books. Here goes another one. That's a nice, it's a nice. I paid, these books are like tough. You go on eBay, you won't find these books. Like I found them on eBay. I got lucky. One seller had a whole bunch of Popeye books and these were there and these were the best copies that he had. Um, So I also got another, this Popeye right here. These are Dell from Dell Comics. He's with Wimpy and Sweepy. This is yellow, nice yellow. Yo, bro, the, this spine just needs a pressing. There's no color breaking on it. And just like these books, I'm gonna get them slab. I already have one Popeye book. It's a seven, is it a 7.0? Yeah, I can't remember. And it's yellow, like. And uh, there's another yellow cover. That's a dope cover too. And then here goes another Popeye book. I love this cover because he has scissors, salt, and then he's surrounded by spinach. And he goes, yum. <laughs> it's funny. But that's a dope cover. Oh, let me get this glare out. There you go. Right there. So I just want to say congratulations to Erod. He beat me to 800. But then again, he puts out, he puts out more videos than I do, so... Um, I've been on YouTube for a long time, um, five years, I think. I mean, that's a long time to me, but, um, I don't put a lot of videos out. I'm like super, super busy. And then when I do have time, I don't want to make videos, I guess. But if I did, I'd be up to 800 too. But, um, yeah, man, congratulations on 800. And this is my submission video. I already got like, Erod has freaking like over 10 books of mine that he's pressing for me. They're all for East Coast. Even I'm not gonna be at East Coast, probably just on Sunday. But um, my son graduates from college that Saturday. So that's where I'm gonna be at. Um, And then that's it, man. Uh, that's all I gotta say. Congratulations again. And every Tuesday, Come check out the NY Warriors auction and come check out the show. It's every other Monday. This Monday we should have a, we're going to have a show this Monday coming. And uh, yeah, man, that's that's my video. Uh, what else can I say? Um, yeah, man. Uh, what? Oh, I know what else I could say. I could be like, um, you know, there's a lot of sensitive people out there. They can't take jokes. Um. 
you gotta have a sense of humor, man. Because if you don't have a sense of humor, why are you here? You know, me, I always, I'm always joking around with everybody. I always uh, busting everybody's uh, chops. Um, and you know, that's just me, man. You know, just don't take it personal, man. What the fuck? Stop being sensitive. It's YouTube, bro. Oh, bros. Let's say, let's say, oh, bronies. Let's say bronies. <laughs> These fucking guys, they with they brony bullshit. Um, so yeah, man, that's it. That's uh my video, and um, I'm getting out of here, man. I gotta go. Later.